In the early years of my career, I used to cover something called gilts and semi-gilts. And what it was all about was the government lending and the cities in South Africa that would go into the international community and the local ones and borrow money to invest in infrastructure projects. Now, over the years, the cities have been rated differently by credit rating agencies. And at the moment, if you have a look, particularly in the uh, events of the past week, you, you'd think that the rating differences would be vast. Well, they aren't really that much. And we're talking now with the Executive Deputy Mayor of Cape Town, Ian Nielsen, who I suppose, Ian, would be a little surprised by the fact that we saw the unrest in KwaZulu-Natal and in uh, parts of Gauteng, and you can understand why the ratings agencies would downgrade the cities there because it, it, uh, the risk has certainly increased. But your city, Cape Town, hasn't had any impact whatsoever of the looting and the rioting and uh, what appears to have been something initiated by rural Zulus who have uh, gone through. We can get into that subject on another day. But I'd, I'd just like to get the impression from your side. Are you in Cape Town, attempting to differentiate yourselves now from cities elsewhere in South Africa? Well, we're not uh, actively trying to differentiate ourselves in the sense of uh, wanting to be different, but, uh, you know, we are different, if I can put it that way, because uh, if we look at our performance, uh, financially particularly, uh, it is completely different to other municipalities. Uh, so, I mean, we've been a bit surprised by uh, this, uh, this uh, downgrade this weekend by Moody's because it's just a month ago that they gave us a credit rating where they confirmed our, our previous rating uh, and said we were in a strong position, etc. Um, and so this time it seems they've just decided to go countrywide and downgrade all the metros uh, on a broad basis that... Uh, you know, that there's been a drop in collection rates across in this COVID period. Uh, they say around 10%. Not our, uh, experience. We, we have, in fact, increased our uh, collection rate the past year. We were previously sitting around 95% collection. We're now sitting at over 98% collection. Um, and we are sitting with uh, significant funds in the bank. Uh, you know, so there's in our view, uh, our finances are in a very strong position. Our budget is strong. We're able to, to deliver on our budget and on, on our plans. Uh, and so we don't perceive that there's any, any merit uh, in this, this downgrade. What is the difference at the moment between the ratings of Cape Town and the other major metros in South Africa? Well, uh, you know, it seems that Cape Town, uh, Johannesburg are on a bit on one level. Um, you know, we we have essentially been capped by the national rating, so we find that the way that the rating agencies go around rating us is they weighted sixty percent based on what the national uh, position is, uh, and if if the uh, the national position is in a rate us any higher than that uh, uh, you know so uh, that's perhaps understandable uh, because they see that that national is the last resort uh, although in practice we've never seen the national government as the last resort for Cape Town's finances um, so uh, you know other municipalities Chwane uh, Portobello, others are, are, are very much lower. It's so interesting now because we're seeing a differentiation between the governance of the Western Cape and elsewhere or most other parts of the country. And that, that penny has now dropped in a very big way. And yet, from what you've told us, the international ratings agencies are not yet aligned with that kind of reality. Why would this be? Do they... Do they visit with you? Do they actually understand South Africa? Well, certainly they do visit with us. And so normally we do have a full 
evaluation, and that's the evaluation we received a month ago, uh, where our, our credit rating was confirmed. Uh, but this this one that was carried out this weekend sim simply seems to be done on some broad basis without proper evaluation of each municipality individually. So that's something that we are questioning them uh, at this stage to understand their thinking on this matter, uh, because we are we are certainly not happy with that approach. Um, so uh, we will continue to engage them. Obviously, in the end, uh, we we can't tell them what what to do, um, but you know we just we can highlight, I believe, the fact that that Cape Town is uh, in a very strong financial position. We, in fact. Uh, do not need to go to market at this point to to borrow funds. Uh, we uh, the earliest time we would need to do that would probably be around June next year. Uh, so I think there's a long time for us to deal with this matter. But we are more concerned about the reputational damage that we would get uh, with this uh, uh, this downgrading. So if you don't need to borrow, why is the rating that relevant? Well, there, there is a sense that uh, we need to, on a constant basis, uh, have ourselves rated. Uh, there's expectation from national government that all metros do it, um, that you do have a second opinion, as it were, compared to what you get from, say, the Auditor General or other state uh, um, functions, that you get it, uh, an independent view on that matter. Uh, so uh, it is not the only rating we get. There's an organization, Ratings Africa, which does a different type of rating. It's not, uh, it's not based towards borrowings, uh, but looks far more broadly at uh, the financial positions of the city. And we found that to be far more useful um, in terms of uh, understanding our own uh, position and how we are performing. So why would it be that your finances are in such a good state and elsewhere in the country, the cities, not so much? Well, you know, it's good governance. That, that is what it comes down to in the end. We, we have applied consistently good governance over the past 15 years since the DA took over management of, of the city. Um, and in that period, uh, we have ensured that uh, we, every year the, the finances are, uh, are well managed, that we collect uh, the, uh, the billing, we do good billing, we uh, collect the money, we ensure that, uh, that on our expenditure side we keep it within, within the budget limits. Uh, in fact, we drive savings where we can. Um, and in fact, that's why uh, many years we end up with a, a surplus, even though we we actually budgeted for a for a balanced budget. Um, it's because we drive savings as well. So all of this uh, puts us in a position to have a strong um, uh, balance sheet, uh, to have cash in the bank. Uh, and if you look also at our, our property rates, for example, we have the lowest sent in the rand of all the metros in the country. You know, we're sitting at about 0.6 cents in the rand for residential properties. The next uh, metro is Johannesburg with 0.8 cents and all the others one cent in the rand. Uh, and it's even more dramatic as far as commercial rates are concerned because we, again, we sit with a commercial rate of 1.2 cents in the rand, uh, Johannesburg and others uh, two cents and above. Uh, so it is significantly different, and it's because uh, we have strong and good, uh, good governance, uh, good financial management, and we do that uh, consistently and have done so over a period of time. 